Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in less than five minutes. We'll be watching Tesla out of the opening gates. Hopefully, you're going to be doing some options on it. Um, I just say hopefully because this is truly a live video, so it's not like this has all been recorded, and now I'm coming back and doing a, doing a trade recap or post commentary, voiceover, nothing like that. I'm recording myself seeing the information for the very first time. Um, so yes, I think, I hope that I'll be getting some Tesla options trades on here. I'm liking the setups that are taking place, but that all remains to be seen, so I'll go ahead and pause for now. To offer up a little bit of context here on, on what I'm looking for, let me make sure this is actually on the recording screen. Okay, yep, there it is. Is uh, right here, this comment, specifically in terms of what I'm looking at here. So what I'm, I'm thinking is, wow, okay. And actually Tesla's already back above 600. So. Um, yeah, very, very interesting now all of a sudden. Now it's kind of back below. But pointer being, I'm definitely bearish biased, but I'm, you know, my focus is right around that 600-ish dollar area, which you just saw over here. And as of right now, you can see the prints going through or right at 601 there. So technically now actually already above there a little bit. Uh, so yeah, looking, that, looking, that, uh, looking like, excuse me, that level is gonna be in play here. Market opens up here in less than a minute, but I'll go ahead and pause and see you back at the open. The markets are open. Okay, this is good. Let me see if I can get some down there. Well, Tesla is all over the place. I'd like to see this bounce up a little bit more here. Gotta let this first minute kind of chill out a little bit. First minute can be so jumpy, and I hope I don't get left behind, but like I said, it can just as quickly go green. Now, of course it can just go super red, but like I said, this is uh, live. I don't have hindsight, so I don't know what's coming next. And I'm hoping I don't get, but that fast now starting to kind of go green again. But yeah, 601 seems to be that key level. Let's see it bounce back up again. Would love to see it up above and stay above 601, but I don't know if it's gonna cooperate or not. Hovering right around that level. Ah, and there it goes. Well, a tricky one for sure this morning. In hindsight, yeah, of course, should, I should have just gotten in right there. I'd have been up fantastic. But at, at that point, it was just... Just didn't quite play out. Now, I'm not going to give up on it. There's still, I mean, the market's been open for two minutes, so it's not like... Although AMC is just getting destroyed right now. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I would like, oh man, this just straight down. There's there's just no move I can do on it right now and this thing is just going straight down. I need to see at least some sort of. If you do hear typing, that's just me making alerts to the, the private community that I already showed you. All right, there we go. Now we're getting a bit of a bounce here. Let's see if this gives me something to work with or not. Six hundred. Yeah, that's still only about a dollar move. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to myself right now. I am. All right, so six hundred fifty. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting still very choppy. So yeah, I better just go down to two contracts here. Yes, 650 is what I'm watching. 
but it's just so choppy that I'm going to, you know, mitigate that risk by just doing two contracts. Yeah, maybe now 601 level to watch. In there at 840. So looking for this thing to get a breakdown to at least 600 would be nice, if not even below 600. So can it get down below 600 is the question. So just watching 600 like a hawk. Can it get below 600? That is, there we go. Well, <laughs> that was very short lived. There we go. Let's see this down below 599. Beautiful. Can we get some more? Excellent. Took one out there, still have one left. See if I can enjoy this party some more. Fantastic. I think that's be all she wrote. So $255. Why, oh why, didn't I do my normal five contracts? <laughs> There's hindsight for you. Like I said, just wasn't quite sure, it was choppy. I mitigated that risk by only going to, um, and of course, in the, the, the way the voices in my mind work at least, was had this gone in my favor, or excuse me, had it gone against me and kept going up, I'd be sitting here saying, whoo, good job, Clay, you played that right, you mitigated your risk, you controlled your risk by only going to two contracts, Clay, you're so smart. You're such a good trader. Good thing you did that because now you really minimized the loss. But of course, that's not what happened, right? So the, the voice that shows up is, Clay, you idiot. You're such a bad trader. Why did you only do two? Well, that's just the nature of the beast. That's what happens sometimes. Uh, so I'm, don't get me wrong. It's nine. Uh, let's see. I was out of that trade at 930. We'll call it 936. I got in at 934. Let's just call it a two minute trade. So two minutes and $255. I don't want to come across as a as an ungrateful greedy savage. I'm just, you know, making the comment on that's usually how the voices work is uh when things don't go now, of course it went according to plan, but you know, yeah, right now I'm sitting here saying, why didn't I have the five contracts? Why didn't I have ten contracts, right? But yeah, had the thing just skyrocketed against me. All right, I'd be sitting here saying, Clay, good thing you only did that amount. But all right, well, there we go. First trade, $255, but let's see what else is out there. I have an order at 585 to try to pick up some puts here. So Tesla needs to go up a little bit further. Oh, got so close. I was sitting on the bid for some of these put contracts, but ah, that's, unf how low did it actually go? One as low as, well, I'm in now, all right. See if I can get out there at $6 for a quick little score and all out there for a nice $75 scalp. Uh, <laughs> honestly, was about to cancel that order because uh, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Uh, but I got in and I was a little unsure because I was, like I said, I was gonna cancel it and then I got in. And not that I, there was any reason to panic or freak out, it was fine, but I do need to stop talking here. Let's go to 525 now, because I am still bear, or I, I'm still bearish on this even though it's going up. So let me just make sure that I've got the orders typed in in the right spots. 525, five contracts, there we go. So if you're not familiar with my screen, the white down there implies that the order has been submitted to the market, uh, but it just has not been filled. So 
Actually, I think I can get better. I think I can get, actually, let's do this because it worked out beautifully last time. Let's go to 485. Double checking, 485. And this move is getting pretty overdone here right now. But yeah, I think that this thing, you know, not now by no means do I think it's gonna come all the way back down and, and that doesn't need to happen for it to be to make money on it. But I do think that this movement right now is getting a little bit over overextended here. So again, I am at 485, meaning that the price needs to actually still come up some more in order for me to have a chance to get filled. Now I think it could actually I'm gonna go to 450 because I think it could potentially get up to that purple line there. And if it can get up right around there at the time, the price is around 450, which is somewhat of a guessing, guessing game when it comes to uh, options. But that's my thinking right now is I, th I could see it getting up to that purple line there. And when it gets up around there, ideally that is right around the time where I'm getting filled at 450. But again, this needs, uh, like I said, I wanna see it at least get up to that purple line now before I would be interested at this point. So I will go ahead and pause for now. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch through all this, but uh, that is the current plan. All right, it's nearing that purple line. I actually hit it, but as you can see here, it hit it, but the bid only got as low as 460, but I'm gonna keep it out there at 450. See if I can get filled. So yeah, see, that's just the guessing part. The lowest I, it went down was about 460-ish. So at this point, I'm gonna go to 425. And I'm at 425. I'm watching the five minute too. I'm debating, should I try to get, you know what, I'm gonna get greedy. I'm just gonna go to four and if I don't get filled, who cares? I'm already up, what, $330 on the day. So if, I, if, I'm, if this is the wrong choice to lower it down even further, so be it. Worst case is I don't get filled. I'm still up $330. So yeah, I am gonna get a little bit more high maintenance, a little bit more greedy here. In term, greedy in terms of my entry point, which I would have been okay. That 450 would have had another nice little scalp there. But like I said, I just wanted to get a little greedy. But I will go ahead and pause for now and I'll let you know if my greediness uh, pays off and I get an entry point or not. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a contract here at 520. See if we can get some movement to the downside here. Well, it started to go, and it kind of just bounced up on me here. Just a contract. And that was the move that I was looking for and now it's bouncing back up on me here. We'll see if it wants to come back down. I don't know exactly where I'll sell if it goes against me. Let's see if it wants to come back. Can, uh, yeah, 599 is really kind of that key break area. Doesn't want to come back down. Ah, 
Yeah, 600. Being very, very stubborn now. Okay, just gonna get out there. Uh, so it took a 50-ish dollar loss on it. Maybe 60, because I'm up 270 still on the day. So it is what it is. Again, in that situation, I feel great. I'm so glad that I only took one contract. So there, there's an example of that. Feel very, very good that I only took one contract. Again, it did start to go in my favor. And actually, I did go in the green for a little bit. Uh, but that ultimately turned out to be very short-lived. Well, I'm still wondering, potentially some sort of move up, if it can get up to right around the 602 mark, presents a very interesting scenario. It's 10 o'clock now, so 30 minutes in, and that is significant to me because I like to be on average done after 30 minutes uh, every day. Average being the key thing, so I don't mind going over a little bit if there seems to be quality setups. I'm still, yeah, it's the, this level down here is still whispering in my ear, but is that really an A-plus type setup that I would want to be taking right now? Probably not, per se. If anything, maybe a long-sided setup looks interesting, but again, it's still, Tesla's been kind of sketchy here. But yeah, there's no doubt about it that that 601 mark, a very important area. But this range also is getting very, very tight here. So, I mean, of course it can open back up. Well, now it moves back down. So yes, Clay, why did you sell in hindsight? If you would have held, you would have been fine. Yeah, as of right now, it's looking like I would have been okay. I mean, I'd still be in the red right now. It just wouldn't have been as big of a loss. Not that it was a huge loss in the first place, but you know what I mean. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause. I'm really liking this setup. I feel as though it, it does want to make a move to the downside here. So I'm watching 598. See if it does ultimately want to make that break. Well, I missed it because I didn't want to chase the entry. Shoot. So I was willing to pay up to $5.50 per contract, uh, but it skipped over me. And if you would have seen that, the white show up down there. Uh, so I did try to get in there. Uh, ah, good old hindsight. So of course the voices say, Clay, why weren't you willing to pay 560 per contract? That would have still been a winning trade and you're absolutely right. But uh, yeah, that's hindsight for you. Maybe if it comes back up to here, now now I'm just forcing trades because I'm, I'm up, up frustrated. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap things up here, uh, 45 minutes in. So I'll take it, $270, uh, it is what it is, I mean, especially I'm not even at an hour, $270. I mean, what's the minimum wage these days? Like seven bucks or something like that. So I suppose if I'm walking away with $270 in 45 minutes, I don't say that to brag. I'm, I'm just really talking to myself, trying to keep things in perspective. Like Clay, I get it. You're a little frustrated, but uh, you just made $270 in 45 minutes. So calm down, you greedy savage. Um, so again, if you make minimum wage, good for you. I'm glad you're in the workforce. I'm glad you're hustling and grinding. I'm not trying to you know, diminish you at all. Just trying to, like I said, literally talk to the voices in my head, fight against them uh, because I do feel a little frustration with kind of capped off on that trade right there. Try to get in and oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry, you weren't quite fast enough. You weren't willing to pay enough, even though it still would have been um, totally fine. But uh, if you, before I do go though, one final thing, because these are truly live videos, they're not the easiest thing to make. I have to think about my trades. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to actually talk to you. I have to think about alerts in the room. I have to make alerts in the room. So there's just a lot going on, but these videos are totally possible. They're just not, like I said, the, the easiest things to make. So I just wanna make sure from a good old fashioned time management perspective, is, is am I being smart using my time to make these videos? So. If I am being smart in the sense of you enjoy them, you want me to keep making them, then two things, hit that like button, leave a basic comment below, 
could be a smiley face emoji. But those two things communicate to me that you do enjoy these live trade videos. And as long as I know people are enjoying them and want me to keep making them, then I will you know, continue to, to spend my time making them. But just want a, a little feedback in that regard. Uh, so get out there and just realize sometimes you'll have mornings like this where uh, you, know, you do stuff right, but you don't do stuff enough right in the sense of like that first trade, why didn't I just go with, why didn't I just go with five contracts? But, but we had a good example here. This, the last trade where it was a loss, it was a very modest loss. Why was it very modest? Because it was one contract. Where if that had been five contracts, well now I'm looking at a much different day. Um, I don't wanna say that I would have gone red, but I wanna be up $270, that's for sure. So like I said, there's always that give and take um, in the market and you gotta just be careful with those voices and look at this thing go. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Take care. All right, I'm thinking one more trade here. Tesla, it is one, basically two o'clock in the afternoon and Tesla just completely woke up, fell out of bed, and I'm watching 582.50 here um, and willing to take on some risk. I'm to the point where I might go red on the day. And that, that's okay because to me, it's worth the risk of potentially picking up a nice little scalp here. Now, I made a couple other little small trades. I'm experimenting with some things. Um, so that's where these other trades have come from since I last left you off. But again, 582.50, very curious about that area. So 582.50. Watching it very closely here. Once again, bouncing up, so that's good. I'd love to see this go green, even better now. Would be great to see this candle stay green, but if it still wants to come down, I'd still be interested. So just a waiting game right now. So just watching like a hawk in there at 745. Let's see if this thing can get down through that level and make the move now. It's got to at least get down through 582. So it took out four, just because it's not quite going as fast as what I would like to see it go. Still have one though. And this could still be a losing trade. This one final contract here may ultimately keep me red on it. But like I said, I did want to hang on a one just in case it did come back down and, and continue on. But I'm glad I pulled out the four where I did because as of right now, it's not really behaving like I, I thought it would, but I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But let's see if this thing does want to come back down. I don't know if my mic's picking up the kids in the background, but if it is, that's, that's the noise you hear. See if it can come back down. Unless this is just some sort of bottoming formation here. Well, I 
definitely feel right about what I did taking those out because this is just not quite going as planned. I mean, this range just so tight all of a sudden. All right, well, making another move here. Maybe I'll get it. Can I get the move down below 582? That, yeah, this, yeah, 582, that's it. That is the line in the sand. Let's see if it can come back down there. Definitely more patience than what I thought was gonna be needed, but 582, yeah. I don't know, do you want to break or don't you? you got to think if 582 does break, then it should, should move nicely. But as of now, that seems to be a very big if. Okay, it's coming down to 582. Does it want to push through? Good grief. There we go. Now can it pick up some momentum? Can we get 581 to break? Watching 581, if 581 goes, gotta think it can at least get down to 580, but 580 is tricky. Big round number, can it actually push through there? I'm gonna give it a chance, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, doing battle with it. Yeah, big, wow, and that fast back up. Let's see if it wants to go give it another, nope. So all out there for uh, $8.30 on that final contract. Uh, like I said, I, I could have gotten more as it was knocking on that 580 mark and it still may go down there. Uh, but for me, nice little scalp there, um, kind of middle of the afternoon, but and I think there was some sort, yeah, let me bring that over here. So what was, I, I had no idea what the news was, but somebody actually just posted it in the chat room. So let me just bring that over. So right there, news came out on it. Uh, but overall, I, sometimes you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Usually I'm not by my computer at two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, but today I was just doing some things and uh, you know the, the, the chat room kind of lit up. Wait, what's going on with Tesla? And then you saw things go from there. So um, there we go, another trade on the day. So basically four trades, uh, the AMC trade here, I mean, yeah, I made 30 bucks on it, but that was just basically experimenting. I'm, I was just kind of working on something. So um, yes, it's a trade, uh, but you know, was it anything that really had anything to do with, not really, it was just pure experimentation and now it got down through 580. Very nice, very nice. Well, there you go, that required some patience. Now in hindsight again, kind of has been the theme of this uh, video. Well, yeah, Clay, you shoulda, you coulda. Why don't you do, why don't you hang on to more contracts? Well, yeah, at the time, but when it, when it was just bouncing around here and it could have easily gone up against me, I felt just fine with, uh, you know, having pulled out those contracts where I did. Uh, but uh, yeah, in hindsight, yeah, of course, I, I definitely should have held longer, but um, that is hindsight for you. So there we go, uh, one more trade there. And um, so now I'm ultimately closing up the day here, $445. So I'll take that with commissions. I don't know, let's call it 430-ish, give or take a little bit. So I'm more than happy with that. Uh, but there you go, the fourth options trade on the morning. Again, I know I already wrapped this up once, but I'll just wrap it up real quick again. If you enjoy these videos, hit that like button. Leave a simple comment down below, even if it's a thumbs up emoji, and I will continue to do these live trades. Everybody take care. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. 
I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.